everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are out here today planting with some penny seeds that we got back when Lawn and Garden went to a penny. Um, and right here we've got six little styrofoam cups and I planted these Danvers carrots. And I'm gonna water them and I'm gonna keep them in a very sunny place in the kitchen window so that they can germinate. I used a little bit of black cow, just a little bit mixed in with some premium pot and soil that we got at the co-op. And we're gonna see how they do. And today is February 22nd. And I'm gonna give y'all little updates along the way of how they do. So this was the first one we're planting and we're gonna plant just a few more and I will be back in a moment to show you how we do it. All right, now I'm just going to water them just a little so that the seeds set. And I have a water bottle in the house that I spritz to keep them to keep them wet. And see, there's that little seed. We'll cover him back up. And now I'm gonna move them into the windowsill and be back in just a moment. All right. Next, we're gonna be planting these Danvers half long, and I'm gonna do six of these. Um, I just have a small area I can plant, so I'm gonna put these in grow bags actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these. I'm gonna do six of these. I've got six of the others and that's 12 all together. And if I need to do some more um, later on, I can. But um, I'm just trying to get these started at the first of the season. So I can, once they get up um, big enough, I'm gonna transplant them out into the big grow bag that I have. And then I'm gonna start some more for a fall crop later on. But, um, so yeah, we're gonna get started with these. As you can see, these seeds are a little different from the other ones. The other ones was bright red and these are not. So we're gonna go ahead and get these in and I'll show you how I do it. So I just take one of the little pieces and put it down in there. I'll show you in just a second how I do it and I, then I just cover it up. So hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, if you can see it, it's right there. And I'm about to cover it up. And um, how I do that is I just take and push it down just a tad and just cover it up with a little dirt like that. And now I'm gonna water it and set it in the windowsill. All right, everyone, so this is how I have them sitting. I have all the dammers half long from there to here and then I have the regular Danvers from there to there and then this is a penny basil planter kit that I got and it's sprouting already and this is the strawberries and it takes 14 to 20 days I think for the strawberries to um, sprout so they haven't sprouted yet my son planted those the other day so we are going to go out there and we are going to plant a few habanero and a few Chinese giant sweet pepper and some beef steak. And um, I got these on a deal last year through Fetch for back to the root stuff. So um, we're gonna plant these and get these started as well. And so I will show y'all what we do when we get out there. We're gonna plant it just the same as we did those. And I'm just gonna do a few of each. Um, and then later on, we might start some more. So I will um, come back and show you when we get ready to plant some more. All right, everyone. So we planted these habanero peppers. I've got four here and I've watered them already. And I'll show you how I did it. Next, we're gonna be planting these Chinese giant sweet peppers. I'm gonna open it up first. I'm gonna set this in there so I'll know what those are. So 
Sorry, it's complicated. It ain't wanting to open up. All right, I'm gonna get four of these. I'm just gonna drop a seed and try to get it kind of in the middle of each one. And I'm gonna press it down and put a little soil over it. Now, I'm gonna water just lightly just to set the seeds and give it some water to keep it moist. And I have a um, one of the penny water bottles that I just spritz this with every day. I've been doing it for the um, basil and the strawberries and it's working out great. But that's good water to get it going. And we'll be back in just a minute once we take these inside to plant the tomatoes. All right, everyone. So we're about to plant our beefsteak tomatoes. And these are heirlooms, so we can save the seeds to grow some more next year. Ooh. Got way too many, so I'm just gonna put one on each and I'm gonna put these back in and see if I can't I think that might be the seed, but I'm not sure. I'm just not gonna worry about that one. But now I'm going to push them kind of in the middle and cover them up. Push them down, cover them up. Push them down. Cover them up. And water. I'm not watering a lot, just enough to keep the soil damp on top, get it started. That one I'll put a little too much, but it'll be all right, it'll drain down. Okay, so now we are ready to take them in the house and set them. And that's gonna do it for our video today. And we'll be sure to make a little video um, along showing you the progress of all the plants. So thank you all for watching. You have a wonderful day and happy hunting everyone.